In this video, we'll look at ways to make our queries easy to maintain when we start seeing the same sequence of fields appear in our queries. Let's review that earlier example of the query for the complex data type user. Notice that the fields ID, name, and email appear here and here. Let's take a programmatic approach to create a macro, as it were, to use instead of the repeated code. This is the purpose of a GraphQL fragment. A fragment is a reusable unit in GraphQL that allows us to construct sets of fields that we can include in multiple operations. We'll define the fragment in our code below the query block by starting with the keyword fragment, then giving it a name, we'll call ours user fields. We then describe where we wish it to apply with the on keyword and the data type in the schema. For this, we'll call upon the GraphQL Explorer introspection to help. When we start typing X, we get possible options. In that list, we can quickly narrow down the ones that start with X, S, and C, M, M from our scope. Then case queries from our API name. And finally, we select the one that ends with user. Next, we'll copy the fields from here and paste them into the fragment. Now we can replace the series of fields in the query with the shortcut dot 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 user fields here and here. And when we run the query, we see that it produces the exact same results. Okay, that wasn't terribly exciting. But let's say later someone asks us to add the active field to our query. Fragments make it easy to add once and apply it wherever the fragment is used. Let's do that here and run the query again. Boom! Fragments make it easy to write and maintain GraphQL queries when we have repeated sections of fields. I hope you join me for the next video.